Welcome back to The Breakfast. And now it's time for Plus Trending. Enugu State uh, has been a topic of conversation all through the week. First, it was the accident that claimed the lives of eight pupils and two staff of the presentation nursery and primary school in one of the state's local government areas, closely trailed by the sad announcement that at least 57 persons had died following the outbreak of a strange disease in two communities within the state. And then today, to the surprise of many, the hashtag Enugu is safe appeared on the Twitter trend map. Also during the week, the Kaduna State Governor Nasser El Rufai paid a courtesy visit to Lagos State where he met with Governor Babajide Songwolu and made some thought-provoking comments about the incidents that followed the Leki massacre on the 20th of October. Uh, this is Plus Trending and the segment uh, where we unravel the biggest topics driving conversations on social media with the help of our in-house social media manager, Booking November. Pleasure to have you on The Breakfast this morning. Pleasure to be here, Felicity. So, talk to us. What's going on? Aha. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> this trend has, well, it's public opinion, let me put it that way, that this trend has propaganda written all over it. Yeah. I mean, I saw the tweets. The tweets were branded. The videos were branded. It didn't feel like people were having conversations. It felt like somebody actually said, hey, take these, tweet them using this hashtag. And the hashtag was, in a way, safe. And I think that was what caused the quarrel, let me put it that way, online. Because you're saying Enugu is safe, but then there were, we'll get to that later. Okay, so um, I think it was yesterday, the governor went to the officers' mess in the city and for the senior officers, and then he met with them and had conversations with them and encouraged them to come back to work, basically. And... Um, and then after that, he also announced that, uh, basically, that um, uh, the state, in association, in association with the World Bank, would be um, giving farmers some sort of help to encourage them to, to continue farming within the state. So there will be agricultural inputs like um, cassava stem, rice, seeds, fertilizers, and the rest of them. Those were the things he was putting out there. But then he didn't really focus on whatever it is he was doing with the World Bank, he focused on the fact that the city is safe again, the policemen are back on the streets. Then there were videos of you know, the streets, the overview, showing the fact that people, the city is peaceful and all that. And then people started commenting like, okay, so the city is safe, but then we have other things that we're actually worried about. There are other things that you're not emphasizing in this trend. Is it a trend? Do, do you need to do a Twitter trend to announce this? Is this why we are, is that why we are here, basically? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get. So first off was the tweet from, um, it was Onwuka Mark, and it says, I was born and raised in Enugu State. I lived 80% of my life in Enugu. Enugu has today become a place we can't boast of again. Enugu is dirty. 90% of the roads are dead traps. No infrastructure has been recorded in Enugu since this administration. Enugu isn't safe. And then he goes on to say, well, and then he goes on to say the traffic we're experiencing isn't... Um, isn't because the isn't because the police isn't aren't working, but because the bad because of bad roads, and the government should have used the money spent on this useless train to fix the roads. What I was asking basically, and then it got me thinking. He said the government should have probably used the money. I mean, it wasn't like a big budget to do the trains. I don't know how much they spent Nobody on the train. Well, we don't know. But, but it feels yeah. like. Well, no, sorry, sorry, Gabe. But it feels like he's, he's, he's hurt because he feels like there are other things that could be, could be focused on as opposed to announcing Enugu is safe because policemen are back on the roads. I mean, you could have just done a press release announcing that the policemen are back. You don't have to go out and start putting out videos of the cities. Why don't you put out videos of bad roads? Put out videos of things that, that aren't working in the city. Well, that's his opinion. But I'm of the opinion that every city, there's no ideal city in this state, in this country, or in anywhere in the world. So every city or every country, they have their own peculiar problems. And then the fact that he is trying to focus on the good part or the good parts of his administration, yes, I said propaganda at the beginning, it just, maybe he, he's, he's, he's 
plight was to encourage people. Maybe he just wanted people so to know that he was doing something to help the city. It so is expected, you know, that every government is going to want to push out the positives of, you know, his Absolutely. administration. You know, governor is going to come out and say, oh, you know, we've failed so much in this place. Please flog us. <laughs> it, that is expected. My, my, um, you know, the only thing that stands out here for me is, um, and yes, you know, every social media user will be able to share their thoughts on what's going on in their cities. Um, but the Enugu is safe hashtag is what I don't understand where it's coming from. And second, pff, nothing trends from Enugu. I've, <laughs> I've been there long enough to know that nothing trends on social media. The social media use it, there's not enough. Come on, we've, have, we've had concerts for flavor, for fino, for everybody, did not trend. So once anything is trending from Enugu, you'd it expect that it's sponsored. sponsored. But then it, it just begs on the bigger question that why do you have to sponsor trends per se? Twitter has, the way Twitter functions, you can actually promote a post and then put it on the trend map. So that's, that's my idea of a sponsored trend. I mean, that's no, We're being told we have very limited time. I want to talk about this strange illness. What, what is being said about it on social media? Well, uh, the last I heard it was, what I read in uh, the papers was that it was Lassa fever. Mm -hmm. well, they, they were thinking it was Lassa fever, basically. But then, mm, I don't know, it's still, it's still strange as far as I'm concerned because it's, there's no definite answer yet. Yeah, but let's quickly move on to the Aerofy story, right? Mm. Okay. So, he visited Lagos, right? And then the tweet from the Cardinal State handle basically said he visited Lagos to commiserate with the Lagos State governor over the things that happened in Lagos State after hashtag uh, Lekki yeah, Masaka. Well, okay. But then they didn't go on to say the rest of it. So you see what people did on social media was take that one and literally hammer the nail into the coffin on that one. Because it felt like why was this guy visiting, forgive me, why was this governor visiting Lagos State when he had problems of his own in his own state? You know, but then of course he was also in Lagos because he had uh, this thing to do with taxation. Um, the meeting he had to be, he was the uh, spokesperson at the meeting. And then he had to be there, was keynote speaker, sorry, at the meeting. And he had to be there. So they didn't really emphasize that part. What they said was that he was in Lagos because he, went, he came to see some Wolu because of what the things that happened and in Lagos. Tears. And then the comments were just out there. I mean, first off, we had comments from... Uh, let me quickly try and get the comments out now. Yes. Yes. So we had comments from Jimo, and he says, we do not need you in Lagos, but Cardinal, where indigenous and residents are being killed and kidnapped in their own homes and farms, you really need the commiseration. And then um, Musa goes on to say, well, when he is coming <coughs> to commiserate with people, when is some Wolu coming to commiserate with people in Cardinal over the kidnappings going on and the unwanted killings in the state? One good turn deserves another. Well, and then finally, um, Master underscore P97 says, Cardinal is on fire. Go and do your work to protect the people of Cardinal, protect lives and properties that that is your first priority before you come to Lagos and be doing eye service. Who sends you? Oh, yeah. Pretty, pretty yeah. Tough, you know, <laughs> Interesting things happening on social media. Um, but, um, I wish we had more time to talk yeah, about it, really. We're exactly. out of time, absolutely. No but thank you very much for coming. Yeah, thank you for having me.